Welcome back to MC Mod Testing. Today we'll be taking a look at Floodgate. As always, I'm just going to hit the download link. Oops, use 7-zip to extract. But upon opening it, so you've got your normal class files. You also have this GUI folder. So open your Minecraft bin. Now when I'm modding, I like to take the minecraft.jar hold control button on my keyboard, drag it, and it'll make a copy. So in case while installing the mod something goes wrong, I can just delete this and delete the underscore 2 and my Minecraft will be working just fine. Now that works too if you just delete the jar, you can go back to minecraft.net and re-download the game and it'll be fine. However, if you've already installed a bunch of mods like I have, I don't want to have to reinstall all of them, so it's easier just to make a copy before installing a new mod. Now, I'll open up 7-Zip, put all the class files in here, and open up the GUI folder in both the downloaded mod files and the minecraft.jar, and put the floodgate uh, PNG into the jar. I will close out of all this and fire up Minecraft. Okay, here we are. Huh. Stuck in the ground or something. So, I've actually set up a little testing for this. I just have a one block wide path here with a little basin for the water to go. Right here you can see the actual flood gate connected with redstone to a lever. This is the flood gate control of this block right here and this block that spawns when placing this one is the actual gate itself. Behind here I just have a water block. So when you place the flood control, like so. So you place the one block, and the actual gate will be placed in front, one block in front of the control that you place. Now the control is the thing that you actually craft, like, like so. So. I'm going to place some water back here, just flip the switch, the flood gate itself disappears, the water flows free. Just flip the switch back, so there's no redstone power to the flood gate control, the water stops as the gate reappears. If you right click the flood gate control with an open fist, you get a bunch of these little options. Now these over here are the direction that the flood gate is in contrast with the control. The workbench looking thing is the control and the smooth stone looking thing is the actual gate. So if I put say I want the control to look like cobblestone, it will. I want the default look for the gate control, but I want the actual gate itself to look like cobblestone. Just like that. Power on, the gate is off. Power off, the gate is on. Now if we go over here, set up a little something useful for traps. Now if I just pop off this, this is a floodgate I have with both the control and the gate offset as smooth stone. So if I pop a pressure plate on top of the control, when I step on it, it'll activate. If I step back, a nice little trap. And with that, I say, until next time, bye bye.